The Richardson number is named after Louis Fry Richardson. It is the dimensionless number that expresses the ratio of the buoyancy term to the flow gradient term, where is gravity, is density, and is a representative flow speed. The Richardson number, or one of several variants, is of practical importance in weather forecasting and in investigating density and turbidity currents in oceans, lakes, and reservoirs. When considering flows in which density differences are small, it is common to use the reduced gravity g, and the relevant parameter is the densimetric Richardson number which is used frequently when considering atmospheric or oceanic flows. If the Richardson number is much less than unity, buoyancy is unimportant in the flow. If it is much greater than unity, buoyancy is dominant. If the Richardson number is of order unity, then the flow is likely to be buoyancy driven. The energy of the flow derives from the potential energy in the system originally. Aviation. In aviation, the Richardson number is used as a rough measure of expected air turbulence. A lower value indicates a higher degree of turbulence. Values in the range 10 to 0.1 are typical, with values below unity indicating significant turbulence. Thermal convection. In thermal convection problems, Richardson number represents the importance of natural convection relative to the forced convection. The Richardson number in this context is defined as where g is the gravitational acceleration, is the thermal expansion coefficient. Thot is the hot wall temperature, tref is the reference temperature, L is the characteristic length, and V is the characteristic velocity. The Richardson number can also be expressed by using a combination of the Grashof number and Reynolds number. Typically, the natural convection is negligible when re less than 0.1, force convection is negligible when re greater than 10, and neither is negligible when 0.1 less than re less than 10. It may be noted that usually the force convection is large relative to natural convection except in the case of extremely low forced flow. Velocities in the design of water-filled thermal energy storage tanks, the Richardson number can be useful. Oceanography In oceanography, the Richardson number has a more general form which takes stratification into account. It is a measure of relative importance of mechanical and density effects in the water column, as described by the Taylor-Goldstein equation. Used to model Kelvin-Helmholtz instability which is driven by sheared flows where n is the brunt vijala frequency. The Richardson number defined above is always considered positive. A negative value of n squared indicates unstable density gradients with active convective overturning. Under such circumstances the magnitude of negative re is not generally of interest. It can be shown that re less than one quarter is a necessary condition for velocity shear to overcome the tendency of a stratified fluid to remain stratified, and some mixing will generally occur. When re is large, turbulent mixing across the stratification is generally suppressed.